Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. Today we're taking another page out of Snap Bolt's book and we're going to be playing Azorius Evoke. Alright, so um, this is a deck that uh, Snap Bolt has been working on for a little while. Uh, they were actually streaming it last night on Twitch. And uh, while I wasn't able to watch the entire stream, um, I'm a fan of this deck and... Uh, now that we've finally gotten rid of Chatterstorm, and uh, Affinity has, I mean, taken a hit, uh, I think we're actually still going to see quite a bit of Affinity. Uh, the deck is still very good, so I'm keeping the sideboard slots uh, dedicated to it. And uh, we'll see what the meta shakes out to be. But basically, this deck is uh, just a value machine. Um, you're going to be able to cast your spells for Revoke, and then before they go to the graveyard, you can Ephemerate them, or you can use Angelic Renewal to bring the card back. Um, so basically, you're going to be cheating on the cost of your Muldrifter and your Soul of Migration. And then you can even bring them back from the graveyard with Late to Dinner. So basically, you're just uh, looking to churn out a whole bunch of value, and value is really, really good in Popper. Uh, as far as the sideboard goes, we were already talking about some of our sideboard plan versus artifacts. Um, then we have a bit of a counter package with Negate, Prohibit, um, some Hydro Blast, and Dispel. Uh, Dombrier Cleric can take care of a few different things, being able to gain life, uh, destroy an enchantment or exile a card from a graveyard, and we can repeat the effect at instant speed with Ephemerate. Um, yeah, and then we also got Revoke Existence. This is going to be good versus Affinity and um, decks that randomly have enchantments that need to be taken care of. So I could bring it in against um, Orzhov Pestilence or Bogles. All right, uh, I guess we just start with the Preordain. Uh, seems pretty cut and dry here. Um, so we have a bunch of lands here. We don't know what they're playing, so we don't know if the Dispel is good. I kind of want the second blue source. I'm going to go bottom top. And Tranquil Cove will be pretty good to play next turn. I don't have a turn two play currently. All right, so it looks like uh, the opponent is playing Familiars. So we could Moldrifter. So we play Island, play Moldrifter. That puts us to five, and then we go back up to seven. It feels like that's pretty much the best and only thing we can really do. Uh, are there no scry lands in popper i think there's a scry land like if you it comes into play taps and if you pay a bunch of mana like five or something you can scry with it oh, a couple of journey to nowheres
So we could journey both of their cards. Hmm. Could just play Stonehorn. Like the Archaeomancer doesn't seem all that great here, it just gets preordained back. We have much better spells deeper in our deck. All right, so they will go double snap here. Uh, they, what? Oh, they got a, a mole drifter going on. And it's back to our turn. Clam Ego, greetings. What do you think of the new meta? Uh, I'm glad we kept these double journeys here. Now we can hit Sunscape Familiar and Mole Drifter. That's really great. And then maybe just use the Chantry. Ah, yes, same. All right, that's all we can do. But uh, yeah, very, very happy that we got rid of Squirrel Storm. Funny thing is, uh, my last league with Chatterstorm is actually dropping today, so everyone is going to be like, ah, squirrels are finally gone, and here's, you know, one more hit. Oh, absolutely, Stompy will be making a comeback. Another Sunscape Familiar. All right, so we have Ponder. Ah, oh, they're tapped out. So it looks like we could just like play Soul of Migration. No, we're one mana off of Soul. All right, uh, I'm gonna Ponder, and we have a Shuffle. Reset the format could be interesting. I like the Mole Drifter. I will go. This one, this one, this one. No shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. So we could mull drifter here, but that would mean that um, we would be drawing the two cards that we've seen, which aren't the best cards in our deck. Uh, we could also shuffle. But then we only have access to four mana. We could Archaeomancer the uh, Preordain. They've seen this planes, I bounced it with the Chantry. Okay, so that's all my mana, that's my turn, go ahead. Lost one match in your local game store, it was to squirrels. People actually built squirrels in paper, that's awesome. I guess, you know, if you already have a lot of the cards, it's not going to be too hard to uh, pick up the last pieces. I imagine a lot of people already have, you know, like Dark Ritual, Lotus Petal, etc. in their collection. Ghostly Flicker! Yeah. 
so much card advantage. We're doing almost the same thing as the opponent, but uh, they've got this Sunscape Familiar and Combo feel to their deck. Going to be difficult to interact with this, but we're going to have uh, Dispel, um, Prohibit. We'll have more Counter Magic in games two and three. Maybe I should just say in the post-board games. All right, so they have one mana up, so they could have Prohibit. We get Palace Sentinels. That's not something that's really going to stay, but we can maybe just play Soul of Migration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here in Brazil, there are lots of expensive cards in Popper. Lotus Petal, Metamorphose, Cabal Ritual. Yeah, I understand what you mean, expensive for Popper. I'm um, like, Oubliette, for example, used to be a very expensive card. Um, not that, you know, there were a lot of people playing Mono Black Control, but it's a pet deck for a lot of people. Alright, so they have a Chaomancer Ephemerate, which means they're going to be able to um, just basically do whatever they want here. Um, so yeah, I think they basically have the combo. Sunscape Familiar plus Snap is going to make them extra mana. And they can return the Ghostly Flicker. Uh, so they can just, like, gain life, draw cards, untap lands, basically do whatever they want here. Oh, nice! Another fan of Mono Black Control. That is one of my favorite decks. I just wish it could be better. You know, like maybe if a certain uh, him were allowed to see play. Alright, so because they don't have the um, Peru land, I guess they're not able to make enough mana. Seems like they're still in a pretty good spot. Uh, bottom top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could hold up blue, blue, and cast Mold Drifter. Oh, no kidding! A set of Oubliette? Oh, that's awesome. What a gesture, too. That really says, I know you. <laughs> we get Angelic Renewal. We can't play it because we held up Blue Blue. Alright. Uh, we should have just held up the Tranquil Cove. Obviously. What, what am I even thinking? Alright, doesn't matter. Pass turn. So, Clock is going to be a factor here. Uh, Satan Raken's very, very practiced with this deck. And this is the kill, I think. Pretty sure. Alright. Uh, catch you next time, Clamigo. Fingers crossed. We're going to need good luck. So basically, they just get to keep on flickering um, the Archaeomancer, returning flicker, and untapping a land. Um, because they have two Sunscape Familiars, the Ghostly Flicker only costs the one mana. So they tap the mana, flicker the land, they get that land back. 
then they blink Archaeomancer and uh, get the Ghostly Flicker back. And this says, whenever another blue creature enters the battlefield, target player mills two cards. So that's going to mill me for my entire deck. Did they announce some bans yesterday? Oh my god, they did. Um, we got rid of Squirrels, and Sojourner's Companion is also banned. So Affinity did take a hit, but the deck will still be very good. I'm going to uh, see if I can move this card hoarder thing a little bit. Because it doesn't really play nice with all the cards. Um, different cards will have different formatting. So some of the cards will be nicely centered and other ones won't. That looks a little bit better for most of them. And if you miss the middle line of text, that's not too bad. Okay, so how are we going to combat this strategy? It's just such a pain. Uh, we'll bring in Dispel, um, maybe Negate and Prohibit. Oh yeah, the Palace Sentinels. That would have been the reason to concede so they don't get to see the contents of our deck. Um, the reason to continue playing was to run out the opponent's clock. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah, Cleric for Graveyard Hate, absolutely. Alright, I want to go into pile view for this. I want to see what we're going to take out. Um, Stonehorn Dignitary, that can come out. Palace Sentinels is okay. I like the journey. I want to keep the counter magic. Angelic Renewal is maybe not as good as some of the other things that we have access to. Hey there, David. What's up? Uh, what's going to... Hmm. Some popper competition today? I mean, we're up against one of the uh, better popper players currently, but uh, you saying you throwing your hat in the ring? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little known. Yeah, usually my time block is wide open, but every once in a while, um, Miguchi's on. And, I mean, thanks everybody for coming around to my stream. Let's see what we can put together. I like Island Ponder. Could also do like some Ash Baron stuff. Bunch of counter magic, huh? I like counter magic.
No, not normally, but um, I mean, it's a brand new format, so if he has something exciting to offer, that's uh, pretty cool. You see what he's playing? Blue Ninja? Okay. How do we win with our deck? We swing in with a bunch of birds, bunch of flyers. Uh, Mole Drifter can attack as well. It is a bit of a slow beat down plan, but uh, our plan is more about creating card advantage. Our Chaomancer. I'm going to play Tranquil Coven Pass. Blue Red without Delver. Ah, okay. Bit of Azurius. Uh, yep. That's going to resolve. Oh, they got to go to discard here. Discarding a land. Just a bunch of land go over here. Uh, did they abandon Delver? Is it normal? Um, you can kind of go a couple different ways with that. Uh, it's really kind of uh, your choice how you want to do it. If we prohibit Seagate Oracle, they could just have Dispel. I'm not sure that this is actually the card I want to counter. Alright, so our opponent is uh, AFK for a moment. Alright, so about the Delver. Um, so in this, uh, in the various blue decks, generally you're going to go for more of a fairy um, approach. So you're going to have a few flyers, just, you know, like one ones, one of them spell Sutter Sprite. Very good. Going to counter your opponent's spells. Um, you can play Delver, but you actually have a lot of creatures in your deck. Uh, between Ninja, um, Eight Fairies, and um, what's the name of that card? The Merfolk, two mana, one, three. You look at the top three cards. So you can set up your Delver, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. And, you know, it, it's not the most likely card to flip. You know, you might have a one in three chance every time you flip, unless you set it up with um, a Ponder or a Brainstorm, if you're playing Brainstorm. So, yeah, it is a choice you can make. You can play Delver, but you're more likely to see it in a Demir version that's playing uh, Gurmag Angler uh, because they're actually going to be able to put on a lot of pressure, and that might be what they're trying to do. Ah, Augur. Augur of Bolas. That's the one. Yeah, so basically, um, if a Delver is in the deck or not, comes down to the pilot. A little bit like um, Giver of Runes in Hammer Time. Some people swear by the card. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan. And again, you, you can build it either way, right? But I think Blue-Red is generally going to be more controlling. You just don't have access to um, the same kind of cards that Demir does. You're not playing Gurmag Angler, and you can't really play... Excuse me. 
you can't really play, um, hmm, I should have, I guess I still could do this. Dawnbreaker, Cleric, get rid of Deep Analysis. Then I only get to keep up Prohibit or Dispel. I think it's good enough. Let's get rid of the um, Deep Analysis here. Playing Seer over Miscreant? Yes, well that was a really big get for sure. Uh, they could have Dispel because we tapped low. I don't think Ephemerate on Seagate Oracle is that big a deal. It's not like Ephemerate on Muldrifter. I think people were a bit stubborn making that change. Yeah, it should have been pretty obvious. Like, this is just the better card. It's so much more consistent. You're always getting the Enter the Battlefield trigger. And Scry 2 is almost as good as Draw 1. It's really good, anyway. Um, I really want to try and prohibit this. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe they have another one? Nope, Seagate Oracle. Tapped out. We can maybe Archaeomancer the Prohibit back. Ah, Mortuary Mire. So that's going to put it uh, back on top of their library. They'll draw it next turn. Soul of Migration. Two, four, five, six, seven. So we could play the Soul. Or we could Archaeomancer back the Prohibit. Kind of like getting the Prohibit back here. Oh, we're actually up on clock? Nice. Opponent is up on cards. Uh, they have seven in hand. You want to ponder? Absolutely, you got to ponder. Sunscape will prohibit. And another Sunscape, we have nothing for that. If they have Counterspell, our Soul... I guess we have Dispel to stop their Counterspell, so we can just put down a Soul. Three, four, five, six. Boop. All right, we got some birds. So we can start attacking in for, for a turn. But this is the uh, really scary point. Ow, what am I even thinking? That was an obvious dispel there. Not used to playing these control strategies. Gonna have to do a lot better. They get to do two, get two looks there because of that. I mean, I do get to hold up Dispel during their turn, but I think that would have been a nice hit. I'm so used to just, like, reacting. Hit one, hit one. Gotta slow down when I'm playing these decks, but if I slow down too much, then I'm gonna lose time. Okay. So they're gonna try and flicker this. Oh, they're going to try and snap it. All right, well, this is our shot. Oh, we countered the snap, got rid of the mole drifter. Not bad, not bad. So our mistake in allowing them to use the Seagate Oracles um, ends up stopping the snap mole drifter, which is all right. Uh, we can Archaeomancer get back a Prohibit.
Counter target creature spell. Spell that. Okay, I'm going to just play the Ash Barons here so we have Prohibit uh, with Kicker and Attack in the Air. Preordain is fine. We're looking at countering what? A uh, Ghostly Flicker, maybe... They get to put a more a uh, mold drifter back. No, a sunscape familiar. I mean, that is something I guess I would counter. I don't want them to have two familiars down. That makes the uh, ghostly flicker cost only a single mana. All four Seagate Oracles. That's a lot of sleight of hand. Uh, not exactly what I would choose to draw. This kind of feels like a rough matchup. I feel like the opponent is doing what we're doing only better. Echoing Truth on their own Seagate Oracle. Wow. They're just going to return them all and just recast them all for one mana. Get a whole bunch of card draw. Because they know that we basically have nothing here. So they can just go through their deck like this. And find their uh, Sadro Denizen. And start to mill us out. Uh, with their Kaomancer. Get Ephemerate. They can go get... Uh, Ghostly Flicker, they have two Sunscape Familiars, so this should be GG. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop them up. Hmm, I like this hand. I like this hand quite a bit. We'll keep this. This hand looks amazing. Uh, Chatterstorm is out. Uh, Atog is still in. They banned uh, Sojourner's Companion instead of the Atog. All right, that's fair. Well, um, I I give uh, Snapbolt my seal of approval. So check them out sometime. All right, so our opponent is on the mulligan. All right, so we just start, we're, start with a tap land. We're going to play the uh, Angelic Renewal. Oh, we're fighting a, um, what's the name? Uh, Wildfire Bridge deck, it looks like. Meta prediction for Delver. I mean, um, Demir is still just going to be one of the best decks, period. Counterspell? Another soul. Oh, that's sweet. We do need another land, though.
But if we get untapped land off the top, we can start slamming souls into our angelic renewal. Oh, a foretold card. So they put the wolf up. Did they not even have wildfire in hand? All right, untapped land. Let's go. Nice. Play that. All right, so we'll say yes to one and no to the other. All right, that's pretty cool. We also have Ephemerate and another soul ready to go, so we can do this all day. Uh, there's not really anything we can do during the opponent's turn here, though, so I'm just going to hit 6, and uh, we aren't going to use any of our clock during the opponent's turn. There's the pack mate that they foretold earlier. Uh, they draw a bridge, play it, and it's back to us, so we just get to start attacking in the air. And I'm into just playing another soul here, get max damage going early. We could ponder, look for a land. That's probably safe. And if we don't find it, we still have Ephemerate. We do not find a land, but we find Mole Drifter. Oh, I love the Mole Drifter here, though. We can just evoke it. Angelic Renewal gets us the uh, a bunch of cards. Okay, yeah, we got to keep this. We're about to draw four for three mana and Angelic Renewal. And the great thing is, Lightning Bolt doesn't interact with this, unlike Ephemerate. Just totally refill the hand. We don't find land in all those cards, but, I mean, we're just gassed up. Plus, we have another Angelic Renewal. Okay, so they get rid of the soul. Um, we don't have late to dinner. Uh, and uh, they're almost at the point where they can start summoning pirates. But we have Stonehorn to keep them from... Uh... Okay. Stonehorn keeps them from attacking. Okay, we do find land. I think I'll just play Stonehorn here. No attacks, no combats for you. Good call on squirrels. I mean, we knew what was going to happen, right? They were going to throw squirrels off a tree. Anybody could see it. It just took time. Uh, the other one was Sojourner's Companion. The Salamander Robot. Yeah, well, they say that they're going to keep an eye on the format. We'll see if they actually do. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can renew and play a soul. Ooh, that's a wall of text. Sojourner's Companion. There you go.
More birds. So many birds. Was it the land cycling that broke it? I mean, the land cycling was actually useful. I, I used land cycling quite a bit. Um, but it was just that um, it's so consistent. The deck is able to have so many of this one card. So they're like, oh, we're just going to get rid of it. Um, I think that it is definitely going to be, you know, like you're taking away something from the affinity, de affinity deck. You're taking away the consistency of a really, really good card. Um, but affinity is still really, really good. I think that we're still going to see it a lot. Um, and I think that was also their intention. They did not want to kill the deck. Uh, the Atog fling is, you know, like something that's been around for a long time. And, um, same with Tron, same with a bunch of other strategies. We're allowed to, uh, to hold on to them, but Chatterstorm definitely had to go. It'll be interesting to see uh, what else comes out of Galvanic Relay, though. All right, so we're going to want to bring in Dust to Dust. Can bring in maybe Hydro Blast. I don't really know about that, though. I'm just thinking like it's an easy way to kill pirates. So, you know, Hydro Blast, we can kill a boarding party. And it might actually be good to counter... Um, What's name? Uh, Cannonade. Morning. So now there's been a ban or two. Is Popper worth getting into? Absolutely. Um, Popper is in uh, the Wild Wild West right now. Um, we have access to all the cards that we got out of Modern Horizons 2 without the Squirrel Menace. So now is the perfect time to get into Popper. I want to keep all the journeys. The counter spells are okay. I don't really want the dispel. We have the Hydro Blast for basically the same purpose. It's just Hydro Blast is better because it kills Boarding Party. Um, the Palace Sentinels are okay. Are they going to have the Monarch? They might have Shrek. They're playing black. They could even have the Black Rose. We might want to keep a Palace Sentinels just so that we can get the Monarch back. What about Stonehorn? Stonehorn is pretty good here. Do I want the third? I don't think I want the third in this matchup. I think two is probably enough. Okay, yeah, we'll keep this. Get to preordain our way to some more lands, and we can dust to dust. Um, Stone Rain exiles two of their lands, pretty sweet. Oh, we get Archaeomancer, so we can uh, bring dust to dust back to our hand. We are going to have to find some lands, though, and it looks like... Yeah, they... Oh, no, it's not Wildfire. So they've missed turn two Wildfire twice in a row. Oh, these are cards that I like. Top, top. Next turn, we can Dust to Dust. So hopefully they play Artifact Land here. They do not. Unfortunate. Alright, maybe we'll want to play Angelic Renewal Preordain instead. I like those. Top, top. 
Could hold up Hydro Blast. Uh, why don't we get this Renewal down? Where's all your bridges, opponent? I want to blow up your bridges. <laughs> oh my those are fighting words in some circles ah there's the second land nice now we can dust to dust Take away your manas. Yeah, take two from the Gal of Blast. Take away their artifacts. A lot of your hard work just gone. Love it. Love it. Another dust to dust. All right. Um, I think we just play Stonehorn past turn. Hold up Hydroblast. Could play Renewal. Could play Archaeomancer. We have the dust to dust in hand. I wouldn't want to get dust to dust back. We could like Archaeomancer preordain. I'm going to play the Dignitary here. <laughs> That's bait. Looks like your plan worked. Another renewal. Oh, yep. Opponents concede. They just said, like, that was brutal. The Dust to Dust just absolutely destroyed them. And that's the reason we're still keeping the Dust to Dust in, because of how strong it is. And Wildfire is still going to be a deck. So we bo we get to hit both Wildfire and Affinity with Dust to Dust. It's a really, really strong magic card. Not liking this one. This one's okay. I think we can work with it. Probably just get rid of Palace Sentinels. Maybe the Prohibit. Alright, I definitely want the land. We don't know what they're playing, so I don't know if Stonehorn is good. Mountain. Rift Bolt. Okay. So I think the bottom was the place for that. Get a ponder. I 
think I'm going to get a Plains with the Ash Barons, Chantry, Return the Island. Prohibit, we're going to be able to uh, counter one of their spells with this anyways. Um, get one of their three damage spells. If we actually manage to get... Um, the O3, that would be pretty good. We Maybe we should have played... I don't, I don't... No, I don't think we should have played Ash Barons. But it would have been a pretty good hit because their two drops are scary. Untapped land there would have been nice. <laughs> well, that's decent. Reputable source of damage. Basically, a better goblin guide. Look at that. 2-2 two, two haste. That's it. We are in trouble. Burn is so fast. Gonna shuffle. Okay, um, so we have some counter magic anyways, but this lava runner is just beating us up. Uh, what's good black removal in popper? Um, cast down. Uh, then there's also one of the edicts. Um, the one with flashback. That one's super good. Uh, no, no God Pharaoh's familiars in this deck. Archaeomancer. All right. Um, so we could drop that get um our prohibit back i don't like it our situation is dire i want to get the soul of migration down with ephemerate but our mana just isn't cooperating for that we can go to four here but we don't guarantee to have five next turn so we could put soul of migration down but then we just get two birds out of it and that's it Four mana for two birds isn't exactly where I want to be. I think we oh, we can't even... I guess we can return the island. We still have the Chantry for the Dispel. If we play our Kaomancer, get back Prohibit, then we don't have any counter magic for what's in their hand. Tough spot. That is something I would have liked to have countered. I think the Thermal Alchemist pretty much seals the deal here. We can Solar Migration Ephemerate, but then we don't have Dispel up. another land they're flooding out a little bit here Did they have a searing blaze yeah they do i've oh, got to dispel that and now we can hit six we chump here we 
What's the difference between four and six? Thermoalchemist. All right, so we got all the birds, but shields are down. And they're still at 20 life. This is uh, not a winning game here. But at a sideboard, we get some more Dispels. We have some Hydro Blasts, uh, Dawnbringer Cleric. So we do have quite a few cards to bring in. Oh, opponent passes back to us. That's cool. Um, the Alchemist is still going to kill us very, very quickly. Four, five, six, seven. We could play Soul, but that takes down Prohibit. Just going to ponder here. Uh, I'm going to shuffle this. Get a Mole Drifter. I like that. One, two, three. We could still hold up Prohibit. Just trying to think about this for a second here. What if we draw Ephemerate? We're going to want to cast it, right? So I could keep the planes up, and that's worse if I draw a Dispel. We only have one Dispel in the main, so I should try to draw Ephemerate. Okay. And we'll just pass here. Uh, Fire Blast kills us. Prohibit doesn't stop that. Counter the Alchemist. That would kill us really quickly. Looks like the opponent's just really, really flooded out here, so that's pretty lucky for us. Got a counter spell off the top. Ooh, that's a good one. Cast a ponder. Um, are the ephemerates good enough? I almost like the tranquil cove just to gain a life. Six puts them to ten. Um, we could attack for one more damage. And then we lose a bird in blocks. And this is five, seven, six, seven. Puts them to nine. Still doesn't kill them next turn. Just takes too long. They can't blank forever. And even like if they get any spell at all, it untaps the alchemist. That's an extra damage.
Wish we could shuffle those ephemerates away. Attack with everything. Okay, they need to draw blank. If they draw blank, we win. If they draw anything, they win. They need... Oh, they missed the Alchemist last turn. That might be a big deal. No, they have Lightning Bolt, so we're dead. Uh, yes, I have Mr. Duct Tape. That's a really fun deck. Cycling Storm. Alright, so we're going to bring in Negate. Prohibit. Hydroblast, Dispel, and Dawnbringer Cleric. Uh, we're going to take out some Souls, take out the Stone Horns. I want to keep the Journeys. Oh, hey there, boss. You like the Ephemerate? I mean, it's a sweet card. And it does a whole lot in this deck. Angelic Renewal is pretty sweet, too. Um, Renewal, we don't have to worry about the removal spell. Are there temples in Popper? No. Two lands. Uh, we have a Hydroblast. Journey for their creature. We have renewals, but nothing to use them on. But maybe the ponder can get us there. I don't love the hand, but... I don't know. It doesn't gain any life. I'm going to mulligan this. I like this better. Okay, Rift Bolt first. Uh, we'll play the planes here so now we can hold up uh, Prohibit. Because if they have the Thermal Alchemist, we want to counter that. Lava Runner. Nope. 
No Goblin Guide for you. Oh, and that was their only play. Okay. Oh, they can go wild here. We're tapped out. Okay, chain lightning us. And is that your turn? It is. Cool. Another ephemerate. Not what we're looking for. Let's preordain, find a land. Uh, and an Ash Barons, or an Ash Barons and a Prohibit. I like the Prohibit too. But if we take the Ash Barons, we lose the Prohibit. Uh, say come say. Opponent's got all gas in hand. So they find land, and we're in so much trouble. We just have dead cards. Triple Ephemerate is doing nothing. And now they're just going to be able to play like Thermal Alchemist Go. We can't even dispel that. Kill the Marauders. Yup. This is embarrassing. Oh well. First League with a deck. So, is what it is. Kill the Marauders getting in for five is uh, very good. And Curse of the Pierced Heart. Oh, hey, look at that. There is a Card Hoarder logo over there. What is that doing over there? Oh, right. I got uh, sponsored on the weekend. So we get to look at uh, Card Hoarder thing over there. Everyone's eyes are drawn towards it because that's where the action is. Mold Drifter is good here, but it's not going to be good enough, I don't think. I mean, we got to draw four cards. That's pretty sweet. Oh, Hydroblast? Cool. Hey, thank you. Hey, that's right. I got a Cooper Cam too. All kinds of new things coming to the channel. Yeah, it's all coming together. Uh, there was no block because Kill the Marauders had Vanishing, so it was leaving that turn. Okay, so we're going to want to get rid of the curse, because that's going to kill us. Oh, no kidding. What are you going to be playing, Ekros? Play Tranquil Cove, gain a life.
Oshin1, thanks for the follow, friend. Oh, late to dinner? That gets us some food. Do we dare hope? Pass the turn. Yeah, that would have been the better order. Yep. Come on, sequencing. It's important. What do you think of Ingenious Smith? I'm not a fan. But I'm also not a fan of Collected Company. So I think that it's a strong option for the deck. Um, you can absolutely play it and feel good about playing it, but it's just not something that I want to play personally. All right, we're going for maximum card draw here. We're going to draw six, seven cards by our main step here. Yeah, I think, you know, like when you're co when you're combining it with um, Luris, the card is good. It's just not one that I personally want to play. I don't like the uh, the roulette style like sometimes I'm going to miss. And the two cost is pretty expensive as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, some people are going to do well with it. They're playing an incredible deck. It's hammer time. But wouldn't you rather just play another card in that slot? There are better options. I would rather play Ragavan in that slot. Oh, please tell me I have a creature in my graveyard. I don't have a creature in my graveyard. So I can't late to dinner. Discard Archaeomancer to hand size. I think that's going to have to be the way. So that we can late to dinner later. Let's see if we can find uh, Dawnbringer Cleric. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, you were thinking familiars. No, I'm playing um, Snap Bolt's Ephemerate list. All right, so we have Dispel up, but not much else. I can still ponder. Maybe find like a counterspell or something. We knew it was up there, of course. I just really wanted the Dawnbreaker. All right. Um, now, uh, now we don't have enough cards. I should have played Chantry, I guess. This is me not uh, looking at my cards properly. Now we still can't play late to dinner next turn. Kill the Marauders. Cannot dispel that. Alright, I only have 10 minutes left on my clock. But we're getting a bunch of life here. Oh, actually not that much. We're getting two more life. But we can Archaeomancer, get the Ephemerate back, gain more life. Tranquil Cove, gain a life. Let's get Ephemerate back.
yeah, well, if you're enjoying the deck, um, check out Snap Bolt's YouTube page. Uh, he has played this deck quite a bit, so there's a lot of 4-1 uh, leagues on his YouTubes. Gonna ephemerate a Kaomancer here. Go get where's Blue Elemental Blast? Hydro Blast. There it is. Counter target spell if it's red. And then we can block with um, Dawnbringer Cleric and late to dinner bring it back. Oh, got to go over here. Sometimes it's weird. You have to click on the exile yourself in order to find your ephemerate. Journey to nowhere. I mean, it saves us one life, whatever. We're going to Chantry the Tranquil Cove back so we can gain another life with it next turn. Um... Late to dinner, Dawnbringer. Gain two more life. Uh, attack for two. And then pass turn. Can I play Renewal? I can play Renewal. Oh, you're a fan of Cycle Storm? Me too. That deck is sweet. Okay, we take one from the Marauder. Probably going to time out against Burn over here. Because I think we're going to win this game. But I don't know if we're going to be able to win a game three. Oh, they're going to Lightning Bolt my Archaeomancer in response. Dispel. Uh, go get Hydro Blast. And Hydro Blast the Chain Lightning. I should just yield to these. Uh. Okay, uh, play the cove, gain a life. Attack here. And we can play our Kaomancer, get back another Ephemerate. Pass turn. Double Ephemerate, we should be good to go here. We just have to kill the opponent. Rift Bolt, Suspended, sure. We'll eat a food. Ephemerate Mold Drifter. Draw two fresh cards. Get a Dispel. Nice. Pass turn. Oh, 
We're at 14 life here. We'll just take the damage. So we have six here. Um, I'm not going to cast the Ephemerate. We just have Lethal on board. Wow, super grindy. Dispel that. Nice. Oh, wow. What happened? I thought, oh, I thought we had six. We only had five. This is fine. They have nothing anyway. Just takes an extra turn. A couple more seconds off our clock. We have six minutes left to finish game three. Um, clock won't be a problem for the opponent, but it will be a problem for us. See if they'll lend us some. I mean, they didn't respond to my good luck, so I don't think they'll uh, be too kind and lend me a minute or two off their clock. Uh, how is Popper after the bannings? It's the Wild West over here. We don't know what is going to happen. Okay, our opponent does mulligan. We're going to keep here. We have Hydroblast, Dispel. I'm going to play Island so we have access to Hydroblast immediately. That might be wrong. Oh, no, I definitely want to kill that. I guess it would have been about the same. We could have just cast that on our main step and killed the Alchemist. But maybe I would have wanted to kill the Lava Runner. Okay, let's do a Ponder here. Okay, I like most of these things. going to hit six through the opponent's turn we got to preserve our clock as much as possible thermal alchemist now uncommon yep although we can still play with it in popper as long as it was printed common one time it's not on the ban list it's allowed People bought too many of them in the previous set. It's not there's not enough left. Nice. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, Hydro Blast ready to go, so we're just gonna have to uh, let that resolve. And we'll go get a Plains with this Ash Barons. Didn't I shuffle that negate away? So we got to draw a bunch of cards, but is that really going to help us? Uh, what are we discarding here? Next turn, we can Soul of Migration Ephemerate. Boo. 
But how much time do we really have? Not a lot. I should just be hitting six here. We're going to chump one of the lava runners. Or not chump, sorry, trade. Okay, nothing for our ephemerate to hit. All right, six power on board. That's still a lot of attacks. We're tapped out. Opponent should probably just be able to kill us. I felt like we needed to put something onto the board here. We had to block Lava Runner. Okay, we're not as dead as I thought we were. We're close, though. I mean, if they have Fire Blast, we are dead. But if they let us untap, we get Negate, which is sweet. All right, is it going to keep bring up the Ephemerate for us? It does. Get some more birds. So let's see here. We have one, two, three. I think we have enough mana for Ponder here. Oh, we skipped the end step. I thought I hit five in time. Yeah, I wanted to ponder, but I uh, hit the wrong button and I didn't unskip in time. I thought that I hit five during combat, but it just went past main. Martyr of Ashes. Okay, I mean, that doesn't hit any of our stuff. Make some more birds. Uh, so they're at 16. Yeah, we're going to have lethal here. Let's make some more birds. Tranquil Cove, gain a life. Attack all. Uh, let's do a ponder. Not going to skip it this time. Uh, we get Prohibit. Prohibit's pretty good. No shuffle. Go. Uh, fire Blast. So obviously we counter that. Let's counter that with a Dispel. Hey there, John. Um, we're taking a bunch of damage here, so it's pretty close. Oh, they have Red Elemental Blast. That might actually kill us just with the untap. Uh, negate. I think we go to one. And then win. Uh, things are doing pretty well, John. Um, got a new apartment, feeling a lot more comfortable. Doing pretty well, I would say. Hey, thanks, bud. Uh, go to block. Boop. Very close. Let's 
Attack with all. Wow, we... <sighs> Ooh, sure. Put me to one. You got it. What a game! So close! That was... Wow. Wild. Double stone horn hand. This hand is not great. We basically don't do anything forever. Mm, this one's not great either, but I think I'm going to keep it. Get rid of one of the renewals. It's just so slow. Is this Demir? Okay, this is a really tough matchup. Makes sense that uh, Countertop is going on to Demir, if, if that's what this is. Demir is, I believe, the best deck right now. Okay, we got a Plains. So that means we can play Angelic Renewal on turn two and Mole Drifter on turn three. That's nice. Is this a ninja? No ninja. Lucky us. Probably a uh, spell stutter sprite for angelic renewal. So maybe we don't play anything this turn. So they don't get to spell stutter sprite us. And then we can just ash barons, ash barons. Go get double island. Is the blue-white familiar deck still decent, or is this just the better deck? Um, the deck is definitely still decent. Our loss, uh, match one, was against Satan Raken playing blue-white familiars. I think you could play almost anything. It just comes down to, uh, can you beat fairies? Can you beat burn? Can you beat elves? There's just so much that you can do now. Uh, please stop. Okay. Get this Angelic Renewal down while we have a chance. Okay, so they're leaving up all their counter magic. Um, this is a pretty crux turn, so if we try and evoke Soul of Migration, they can counterspell. But they need exactly counterspell, and then maybe we can get a Mole Drifter down later. And let's see if we can get the Soul down. Okay, so they do have counterspell. If we get uh, untapped land off the top, we can Mold Drifter hold up Counterspell, which would be super good. Okay, so they're putting down a Ninja. This is one of the best things that they can do. Ninja is just such a good card. I, th I do think Mold Drifter is better, but... Ninja is very, very strong. And I mean, they're not really on the same level, right? So they're tapped out. I think regardless of what we're drawing, we're just playing Mole Drifter here. Draw four cards. Uh, they cannot interact with 
snuff out um, when I'm playing Angelic Renewal, unlike uh, Ephemerate. With Ephemerate, they can react. Just a ton of cards. We can play Planes here, then we have Dispel and Ephemerate up. Boil. I mean, that card is legal. People have played it, but since we lost Gush, um, we don't see it very often. Ephemerate in response to Snuff Out. Dispel. I will dispel your dispel. Spell Stutter Sprite. You got it. Spell Stutter Sprite doing some work. Countering Dispel. And Snuff Out takes Moldrifter. We're also going to have nothing to Ephemerate. Um, so. Oh, I guess, yeah, the Ephemerate was countered. But we have nothing to block, so they're going to be able to attack in with Ninja, uh, bringing them back up to four cards in hand. They are tapped out, though, so we do have a chance here to do something pretty good. Let's see what we draw. We get a Tranquil Cove. So it looks like we can play Moldrifter. I guess we could Preordain, try and find an Ephemerate. Could also evoke the Moldrifter hold up counter spell, but like opponent just is going to attack us to death here if we don't put up a defense now. I'm going to preordain, see if I can find. Uh, that's not what I was looking for. Bottom, bottom. I want the Rhino. Actually, Late to Dinner brings back the Soul of Migration. I do want Late to Dinner. Sweet. Play Chantry. Uh, pick up Planes. And pass back. So now we have blocks. Okay, cast down. Nothing we can do about that. Our blocks are a little bit worse. We are going to try and double block the Ninja. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Killed the ninja. Um, if they still have actual counterspell, the soul of migration isn't too good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Moldrifter, hold up counterspell. BCG Factory. Thanks for the follow, friend. Counter your counter spell. So they can fetch with Terramorphic Expanse here, so they can just hit F6. Next turn we can play Soul. But if they have counter magic up, that's kind of scary. I don't want to just play my 7 mana creature, they tap 2 mana, counter spell it. Um, they've used two counter spells so far, so they only have two left in the deck. Um, and they have more than half the cards left. I think we can probably just throw down a soul. Yorin Popper reprint, let's go. Our coves are the most tranquil. These tranquil coves were clutch in that burn matchup. This food might really come in handy as well. Alright, block the spell stutter sprite. That's the one we do not want them to return with Ninja. And they return the Augur. And smack us for three. Also drawing a card. So Journey looks okay on the Ninja here, but probably just going to slam the Soul of Migration. Uh, 
Oh, Gurmag Angler. Okay, that's something we have to get rid of. But again, Soul of Migration puts up a blocker for it. Do you know if you can cycle a card obtained with Relay? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure cycling says discard from your hand. Oh, they have Counterspell Magic up exactly. Or, yeah, mana. No Counterspell. One time. Ah! They had the third. GG. Yeah, I was just trying to play the odds. I thought they were bluffing it. Because they've already played two counter spells. What are the odds of them having a third? Pretty good, as it turns out. Yeah, that's GG. Snuff out wins them the game. 100%, of course. Of course, they always have it. Always, every time. We're going to take out Palace Sentinels. Uh, they have too many Flyers. It's going to be difficult to keep the Monarch in this matchup. Two more cards to go. I like Journey. I like Renewal. I like Ephemerate. Uh, I like pretty much everything. So I'm just going to take out a pair of Cantrips. Yep, yeah, it would have been pretty good if we had managed to uh, to get all those birds out. Um, Solo Migration is very good against our opponent. Speaking of, keep this. I mean, Mole Drifter turn 3 would be really good here too. Angelic Renewal, Mole Drifter draw 4 cards. Is drawing four even good? I don't know. Cost three mana. And I mean, you lose this card off the battlefield. <sighs> Doesn't seem very good to me. Alright, so we go down to four, so we actually have to discard to hand size. We're not playing this deck to not draw four cards. Get rid of a Mole Drifter here so we have a creature in the graveyard. Hey, stream team. Yep, Snuff Out and Ninja. And then we get to Journey to Nowhere the Ninja. No Ninja. That's a surprise. So they're holding up Spell Stutter Sprite.
Is there a ninja this time? No ninja again. Is drown a common? <laughs> like, drown in the lock? I don't think so. No, instead we get Agony Warp. Just keep on coming in for one every turn with that Fairy Seer. Maybe just a little bit better. Just a small, small amount. If we play Renewal, it just gets Spell Stutter Sprite, and that's not too good. I kind of just want to pass again. And then next turn we can hold up. We can play Moldrifter, hold up Negate. I mean, Journey feels so bad hitting a, a Fairy Seer. I want to hit like a Gurmag Angler or a Ninja or something. Here comes Ninja. Return Spell Stutter Sprite. Nope. going to negate the counterspell, um, use up all of our mana. If we dispel it, where are we going from there? Uh, they probably have Spell Stutter Sprite here, though. Yep. Uses a bunch of their resources, but they still got a bunch of cards left in hand. And Spell Stutter Sprite stay on the table. <laughs> Yeah, Spell Stutter Sprite is still one of the best cards in Popper. Very difficult to deal with. We play Soul now, we're open to counter magic. Let's just pass the turn. We can hold up Prohibit. And then next turn, evoke the Soul of Migration. Get ourselves some birds. Uh, we'll dispel the counterspell. And then because we played with proper sequencing this time, we'll prohibit the spell starter sprite. And we get our stuff. So they'll probably be able to deal with a solo migration fairly easily, but these birds are going to be a nice roadblock. Uh, counterspell is shown.
And we draw Dispel. Oh, I love the Mole Drifter here. Hit them for some damage. Play Mole Drifter. Uh, they probably counterspell this. And we dispel their counterspell. And get a creature, draw two cards. So we have the advantage on board. They currently have card advantage, but yeah, we're in a pretty strong position. So opponent scoops them up, and we're heading to game three. I uh, don't think we're going to make any changes here. So we'll resubmit. Not a fan. Not a fan. Is Dignitary that useful against fairies? Um, I would use it in this matchup specifically because they have Gurmag Angler. So it could definitely buy us a turn or two. So last game, no ninjas. We managed to win. Um, let's cross our fingers and hope they don't have a turn two ninja coming at us here. Because our hand is slow. Ah, oh, they have it. Turn two ninja on the play. They're going to draw so many cards from this. We just have nothing to do against it right now. Yeah, John, I think you're right. GG's. Turn 2 Ninja is just going to gain too much card advantage. I'm pretty sure we're dead. Like, we can play it out, but pretty sure we're dead. Angelic Renewal. They have Spell Sutter Sprite, which we cannot dispel. But we still have Soul into Late to Dinner, so we do still have a play. So they've drawn three cards with this ninja. That's as good as the monarch over here. So we're just basically throwing this into the graveyard. Oh, they're going to use a counterspell on it. Okay. 
Um, that's fair. It does keep the two birds off the table. And uh, this way they're able to continue to hit with Ninja, keep getting that card advantage, keep getting that damage. How are you feeling about the meta post-ban? I'm excited. I'm excited to be to see what people are bringing to the table. All right. Untap land. So we have dispel. No. Uh, so we either have to evoke soul of migration or cast late to dinner. Uh, late to dinner is weak to counter spell. So is evoke soul. I think we just go to late to dinner here and hope we draw land next turn. Counterspell. All right, we're dead. I mean, we tried hard. I was waiting for this to get back more into the format. Sweet. Yeah, a lot of people were waiting for the ban. To, and then, you know, like, at that point, get back into Popper. And it finally happened. Um, Affinity is still a big problem in the format. It's still a very strong deck. But we haven't actually seen any copies of Affinity yet in this league. What got banned? Chatterstorm and uh, Sojourner's Companion. Are they just holding up Counterspell again? Four mana for two one one flyers. Let's go. So good. Yeah, I'm not sure if Sojourner was the right target, but they wanted to keep Affinity basically as is. And Affinity is a really cool deck. The Atog Fling is a pretty big part of it. So I can understand that they wanted to, you know, like keep that feel, that that classic Atog feel, but I I do think that Atog was the hit. I think they should probably hit Sojourners and Atog, and they probably should have hit Spell Sutter Sprite and Snuff Out as well. But um, they wanted to go with a minimal banning, and, you know, that was their decision. Yeah, it's a safe bet. I uh, would have liked the Indestructible Lands to go. I can definitely see that. Um, but that would have eliminated a new style of deck that is just emerging. So I think they want to see what uh, Wildfire Bridge can do. I mean, I definitely do. Two, three, six mana. Ephemerate. And we have Dispel if they have anything other than Spell Starter Sprite. If they have Spell Starter Sprite. Okay, Dispel. Dispel. All right. GG. We were dead anyway. All right. So that puts us even. Two and two. Lots of lands in our hand here. Let's keep it. Turn two renewal. After a turn one preordain, we might be able to find a turn three mold drifter. Draw four cards. That's true. Ancient Grudge doesn't target the indestructible lands. We do get a Mold Drifter. Nice. Turn three, Mold Drifter, draw four cards. I guess they could hold up Counterspell. 
Soul Sisters, yeah. Kind of excited to see that. Uh, to see if it sticks around. I should play some Soul Sisters at some point. Didn't I just bottom you? So many cards. Just the most cards. Uh, we have to discard something. We could get rid of a ponder here. I kind of like keeping journey. Journey is just such a good card against their Ninja or Gurmag Angler. And we only have three of them in the deck, so I kind of want to keep good removal. There's a Snuff Out. Yep. So yeah, it looks like they're playing Ninja this turn, so Journey is actually looking pretty good. No Ninja. Okay. Uh, what do we do in that case? Maybe just play Stonehorn? I do miss Slivers as well. I had a really fun time playing that deck. Let's get rid of this spell starter sprite so they can't uh, bring it back with a ninja. I don't want them to put it back to their hand. I mean, Slivers and Popper is basically the same. You're still really looking for those lords. Oh yeah, the Hellbent one? I was definitely using that one when I had uh, the Popper deck. Put that in the sideboard specifically for Tron. Archaeomancer doesn't get anything super good back. It just gets like Preordain. Maybe they'll try and counterspell it. We can counterspell their counterspell and get counterspell back. Sweet. It worked out just the way I wanted. It would have been nice to have it on board for future ephemerates. But opponent said no with Echoing Decay. Who, who still plays Echoing Decay in this economy? Okay, let's uh, land cycle. Soul of Migration. Uh, so let's see here. Five, six, seven. So we cannot Soul of Migration and hold up Counterspell. So if they have Counterspell, they would get to get our soul. 
that would be unfortunate. And I'm not into just evoking it. We're just going to pass the turn after attacking for one. Cast down, sure. Keep on swinging for one. Chantry, okay. Does opponent finally find their land turn nine? The brainstorm should do it. Maybe they'll brainstorm lock themselves out of land. They've kind of had a ridiculous amount of turns without finding another land drop. Did they still not find it? Maybe this is Ninja? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Seven mana. Just a casual seven mana spell, that's fine. We play seven mana spells in Popper all the time. We got Annoyed Altasaur, haven't you ever heard of that? And I mean, Tron plays cards that are bigger than this. I think you got eight drops in Tron. Ulamog's Crusher, or potentially the um, the new Maelstrom guy. Our opponent lost connection. Okay, um, so we might be sitting here for a while. Sometimes when an opponent loses connection, it's just like a, a thing that happens, you know, like their internet goes out, something happens. But just the way that this game um has panned out i wouldn't be surprised if this was a uh a salt scoop so we might be sitting here for a friend a while friends what i predicted did come to pass our opponent decided to time out they were just super frustrated with not getting any lands and then seeing um what i got out of the uh like i eventually just cast the soul or whatever soul of migration so they were out. It was just really, really frustrating for them, and they didn't want to uh, play games two and three from a deficit. So three, two, we got a positive result with uh, Azurius Evoke, one of the new decks in Popper. Uh, like I was saying before, Snap Bolt is uh, the brewmaster for this deck. So if you're interested in seeing uh, some more leagues with this deck in particular, um, he has several. So let's see, there is one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So like ten leagues with Blue White Evoke. If you enjoyed seeing it play, there's tons and tons of content out there on uh snap bolts channel so you can see a whole bunch more if you want to maybe watch some more play patterns before you buy it and snap bolt also haven't played it so many more times is going to be more proficient with the deck than i am and is going to be able to give you um some good details on how the deck works octopodes rex thanks for the follow friend all right so we can get rid of that uh, we're going to do a quick breakdown of the deck. And then we're going to do a raid. Um, so if you have any manas, any channel points that you want to spend, uh, this is your last chance to spend them for the stream. And if you want to stick around, uh, you will be getting some more channel points through the raid. So this is my first league of playing with this deck. I wanted to wait until after Chatterstorm was banned before I started playing it 
and Chatterstorm was just banned. Um, I played this on Thursday, so if you're watching on YouTube and uh, it's Tuesday, I hope you enjoyed Chatterstorm coming in one more time uh, last week. So I think that this deck is doing uh, Popper things really, really well. So Popper is, you know, like uh, a lot of grinding in this format. You're going to want to get a lot of card advantage. You want to draw a lot of cards. You're going to want to be able to use all your resources. So for example, like uh, Octopodes Rex is saying here, late to dinner is a great card because you're able to use the resources from your graveyard. And that's going to combine with Archaeomancer and um, Ephemerate to great success. You're going to be able to just continuously use all of your resources, not just the cards in your hand and on the battlefield, but also the ones in your graveyard. Um, Palace Sentinels giving us access to the Monarch, and Soul of Migration is just one of the best things that you can do in Evoke that isn't called Moldrifter. Um, in order to back this up, we have one of the better removal spells in Popper, Journey to Nowhere. Um, got a little bit of use uh, today, it seemed pretty good. I really like the Prohibit. Dust to Dust is incredible when it's good. I don't know if it's still worth the full four slots, but I think that Wildfire and Affinity are still going to be prevalent, so we probably should keep some number of Dust to Dust in this list. Um, we have access to the white mana. We can play a double white pip spell, so Dust to Dust is just one of the best cards to do what it does completely miss soul of migration yeah it's not something that you generally look at right um but some people have uh, been looking you know like hey what's playable and popper and while chatterstorm obviously got all the attention at first soul of migration is a solid card friends <laughs> 